Now we gotta model a burner or a combustion chamber. In this specific case, now I will be using an equilibrium reactor, meaning that Aspen Heises will calculate the equilibrium conditions for the given material. So let's see how it goes. The streams going in is air, which is the oxidant material, and warm gas, which is mostly methane and isopentane. The materials going out will be the stack gas and yeah, reactor liquid, even though in real life this will be a zero stream, Aspen Heises must have this stream fully defined. Pressure drop 125 kilopascals and we're going to be treating this as adiabatic. So I want you to guess why adiabatic? Yes, this is a burner. We want to take the heat out. We're going to take advantage of this heat. Now, reactor part, there are several reactors, and here is the equilibrium reactor. Double click. Reactor. Going in is air, and going in is the warm vapor. This will be the stack, and this will be the reactor liquid. No need to add zero here. Parameters, no so this is also very important, guys. I don't like that whenever Aspen Heises doesn't converge a reactor, he will treat this as a separator. So in real life, what I will want to see is that if this is not reacting, I want Aspen Heises telling me that this is not reacting, rather than just act as a flash vessel. The reactions that we're going to add, set to 1 which is, of course, this one right here. Okay, yeah, those are the reactions I added. And yeah, Aspen Heises just run this out, just for curiosity. We have 93% of methane conversion and 100% of isopentane. I didn't want to show you the results yet, but no worries. This is how we set up a chemical reactor in equilibrium mode.